Today, our network engineer Nick is collaborating with SecOps specialists, and they both require different services to be performed as traffic flows through the network. SecOps requires different levels of security to be enforced in multiple places, all while utilizing a single firewall solution. As he connects the SD-WAN network to the cloud, Nick must ensure that the final solution supports dual-stack IP, both on-prem or cloud-hosted deployment, active-active high availability, and abides by proper traffic steering. Using Cisco Cloud OnRamp for multi-cloud, he is able to deploy virtual SD-WAN routers and automate connectivity to their AWS resources in less than 10 minutes. But how can he attach the firewall solution that SecOps deployed? Through a concept called service insertion, Nick can add the firewall solution to the traffic flow for inspecting the packets moving through the network. Using the SD-WAN manager, he can configure the service chain in a few clicks. After naming the new chain and selecting the service type, he only needs to know the VPN where the service or services reside, along with the addresses and interfaces where they can be found. He'll need to set the TGW appliance mode manually, and he also has multiple options for traffic steering, control policy, data policy, or interface ACLs. What else can be done with service insertion? Deploy a service chain on any device and any topology, using it for all types of traffic, overlay, inter, intra, VPN, local ingress, egress, even define fail open to fall back to routing or fail close, which is more suitable for security services. Be on the lookout because next year we will be supporting fully automated Palo Alto Networks firewall insertion in Equinix. What services or service chain types will you bring to your SD-WAN network? Are you firewalling or load balancing? Or do you require hairpin or exit models? Leave us a comment below.